Hello, today's Tuesday, June the 2nd, 2020. My name's Kim Carlisle, and we live near Sheridan, Indiana, and we have a Heise shop. It's open by appointment only during the coronavirus, and we're limited to just so many people a day that will come in. So if you'd like to visit our shop, all you have to do is send us an email or give us a call, and we can set up an appointment for you. Today, we're gonna to have a video on Heise baskets, and what we've done, we've pulled out select baskets out of our shop, and we've got them on a table outside the shop. We're gonna show you those baskets as well as the prices on those baskets. So if you see anything you're interested in in the video, all you have to do is send us an email and we can either call you back if you give us our number or we can just correspond through the email. So I'm gonna show you our email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. Our email address is the letter K, C-A-R-L-I-S-L at att dot net. Please note that there's no E on the end of Carlisle on our email address. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a little preview of the baskets that are on the table, and then we'll go through each one of the baskets. This will give you an idea of what I'm gonna talk about. And just like anything else, if you don't like what I'm talking about, you can shut me off at any time. We're gonna talk about each one of these baskets individually. The first basket we have is a round colonial basket, and they made this basket in two sizes, eight inch and seven inch size. Even though the overall height on this is 13 inches for the seven inch size, and is about 14 and a half inches for the eight inch size. But Heise made their, measured their baskets across the handle, not by the height. So if you see a picture in the catalog and it says it's an eight inch basket, that's how wide the basket is, not how tall it is. This basket has a nice cutting on it. The cutting is actually a Heise cutting. It's called Marjorie. And here's a picture of a catalog that shows the Marjorie cutting. This basket is priced $125. Now we have three baskets I'm going to show you, and they're all the bonnet baskets. The bonnet baskets were made in two sizes, 7 inch and 9 inch, and this is actually the 7 inch basket, which measures approximately 13 inches tall. This one, the color is Flamingo, and it's priced $165. And if you look at these baskets, most of the Heise baskets that were made were made in two parts. That is, the bottom portion was made in the mold, and from this little ring up, that handle was made in another mold. And then while they were hot, the handle was stuck to the bottom. And then there was a little knob on top. So if you look on the top, and I'll show you an example of this earlier, or a little later, it has a little place on the top. You can see where it's been ground. That's because the bust off has been ground off. Later on, I'll show you what the basket looks like before the bust off. And also on these bonnet baskets, usually each lip on each side of it, it is ground right around here because these had a tendency to shrink when they pulled them out of the mold and it would put uh, lines or mold marks in them. So they would grind, most of the time they'd grind these on both sides. So that's a bonnet basket. And these bonnet baskets in Flamingo, you really have to watch them because of color. Sometimes the color will be a pretty pink color. Sometimes it will be an orangey color. And the price almost is always determined by the shade of the color on the basket. This one isn't a bad color, but it's not a great color. It's a little bit of an orangey color to it. And it's okay to pick up these baskets by the handle. They are substantial no matter what other people say. Here's a basket, bonnet basket, seven inch basket. It's got a wonderful cutting on it of a water bird with water lilies. Notched around the edge. The handle's cut all the way around the top, including where the bust off of. This is a way to hide that uh, ground area where they took the bust off off is to add a cutting to the top of it. And it is just a magnificent cutting that's cut all the way around it. And this is a very good flamingo. It's a real light pale color. And the price on this basket is $2,250. And that's because of the cutting. The basket with no cutting on it was like whatever I said, $165. So the cutting greatly increases the value of a basket.
have a third bonnet basket. It's just like that last one we just showed you, except it's in crystal. And again, it has the exact same cutting on it that the flamingo basket has. It has this water bird with the, with the reeds cut along the top, cut on top the handle. Very well cut basket. And this one's priced $1,500. You can see there's a $750 difference just between the crystal one and the flamingo one. That's because high Z baskets in color generally bring a higher premium if they're in color. Next basket is called a helmet basket. The helmet basket was only made in two different colors. It was made in flamingo, which is pink. It is made in green, which is moon gleam. Of course, then they made it in crystal. Here's one with a beautiful intaglio cutting on it. And it's cut everywhere, around the edge, on the body, around the foot, over the top of the handle, including where the bust off was to hide that bust off area. This is a magnificent cutting on this piece. And it's priced $2,500. I'm gonna zoom into that. Look at that. Another helmet basket. This one's in moon gleam. There is no cutting to it, but the moon gleam color is a harder to bas basket to find than the flamingo color. Again, it's got the place on the top where it's been ground, where you can see that it's been ground. That's where the bust off was. It's priced $850, a very difficult basket to find. Then we'll show you the third helmet. Here it is in flamingo. No decoration at all. The one with the grapes and leaves cut all over was around $2,500. This one drops all the way down to $650 without any decoration. I'm going to show you one more helmet basket while we're at it. And that's going to be a crystal one. This one has a Heise cloister cutting on it. That is a Heise production cutting. Crystal with the cutting on it. This basket's priced $450 because of the cloister cutting. If it was just a little plain Jane cutting or an unknown cutting, it would be significantly less money. But since it's a high Z known cutting, it demands more money. Next basket we have is double ribbon panel. It was made in three colors, Moon Gleam, Flamingo, Hawthorne, and of course, Crystal. Sometimes you'll see these in Crystal with a Sahara or a Marigold stain that's cut to clear. People sometimes think that's a color. It's not. It's an added on color. And this one's priced $65. This one also has where there's a bust off on top of it. And they're usually marked on the center of the bottom. Sometimes that mark is very difficult to find. Here's the bat, same basket in Flamingo. A nice pink color, not on the orange side. Priced again, $65. Here's a third basket. This one's in Hawthorne, and you really have to watch the Hawthorne color. Sometimes it'll be a very pretty Hawthorne color, and sometimes it will be a muddy color. And when it's a muddy color, it really distracts from the value of the piece. This one is excellent in color, and it's priced $275. Next basket, we have three examples of it, and it's called the Picket, Banded Picket Basket. The first one is in Moon Gleam. Here it has a banded, here it has a band around the top, and here it has like the picket fence around the bottom, hence the name Banded Picket, made in just three colors, Moon Gleam, Flamingo and Hawthorne. The colored baskets are harder to find than the crystal baskets. They're very common. And this one's priced $225. And we have the same basket in Flamingo. It's priced $145. Then in Hawthorne, you'll see a wide range in price on these Hawthorne. And it's all based on the particular shade of the Hawthorne color. This one has wonderful color and there aren't any mold marks in it or anything. 
and it is priced $4.75. Every time you buy a Heise basket, if it has distracting mold marks in it or the color is bad, it significantly decreases the price of the basket. Here we have a hexagon basket, which is a very common basket, but it's got a very uncommon decoration on it. It has a, a Holland windmill cut on it, and this isn't an etching, it's actually a cutting. That is, they've cut the glass away with a wheel. And it is priced $3.95 because of the windmill. If it just had a floral decoration on it, it'd probably be less than $50. Here's an example of the tallest Heise basket that they made. It's generally around 16 inches, depending on how far they cut the bust off off the top of it. And this basket is called Hairpin. This basket has a combination of a cutting and a molded design. The loop going around the top is all molded. And if you look, it looks like these old, old fashioned bobby pins or hairpins that loop around the top. That is actually molded into the glass and it was made and then they've added a cutting in between each one of these hairpins. And they've cut the loop, and sometimes they'll cut, put more cutting on it. Depending on how much cutting on it, the price varies depending on how much cutting is put on the piece. This basket is priced $525. If you find a hairpin with no decoration on it at all, they're usually around $250, $300. Here's a bonnet basket, very common basket. This is the second size. This is actually the nine inch basket, even though it measures almost 15 inches. And compared to the seven inch basket, you can see there's quite a bit of difference in the size. Seven inch is 13 inches tall. The nine inch is almost 15 or a little over 15 inches tall. Most of these baskets were cut by outside companies. That is, Heise didn't cut them. And this one's priced $75. Here's an un unusual basket. It's called Narrow Flute. It has all these little molded narrow flute design and then this band around the top. Four-sided. Large diamond H in the middle of the bottom of it. It's got a patent. It does not have a patented date in the bottom of it. It is a difficult pattern to find in a basket. It's priced $3.75. Next basket is the same shape as a narrow flute basket, except it's called pinwheel and fan. It has the pinwheel and it has fans on it. This is one of the Heise baskets that Heise made. It has a diamond H in the middle of the bottom, has a patent applied for date in the bottom, but this mold actually wasn't owned by the Heise company. Heise actually rented this mold off of another company that owned it and made pour these baskets in it. They made this basket in three sizes, seven, eight, and nine inch size with the small size being the hardest one to find. This is a medium sized basket. It's priced $165. The small size is the hardest basket. This is a very small little basket. This is the hardest one to find is priced three seventy five. Earlier we had a round colonial basket. Here's another round colonial basket. Heise put lots of decorations on these baskets, and this one's actually called Mums. And this is the eight inch basket, which means it's almost fourteen and a half inches tall. Here's a picture of a catalog that shows that basket in it. is priced 175. Anytime you find a basket that's got an original Heise decoration on it, it brings more money than one that Heise just sold to a blank company and that other company decorated it. Now there are two sizes of Lariat baskets. There's a 10 and a half inch size and an eight and a half inch size. I'll show you this one first. This is the 10 and a half inch baskets. Please note that in between the basket body and the foot, there's a round ball and it has loops going up the side. This basket 
is approximately 10 and a half inches, but you'll see these baskets all the way from nine and a half inches up to almost 12 and a half inches. This basket's priced $135. I'm gonna show you, this is the seven and a half inch basket. If you note, it doesn't have a ball on the stem. It actually has the lariat loop on the stem. There are no loops going up the side. It generally measures around seven and a half inches, but no matter how tall it is, this is called the seven and a half inch baskets. No matter how tall or short this one on my left hand side is, it is the 10 and a half inch basket. And this basket is priced $25, no decoration on it. Now, if you put a decoration on that basket, like here is a seven and a half inch basket, with orchid etching on it. And if you look at it, it is priced $4.75. Now, if you look at the handles on these baskets, all the baskets I've been showing you up until now, all the baskets were made two parts. The bottom part was made in a mold and the top part was made in a mold. Then they were put together and a bust off was taken off the top. These lariat baskets were not made that way. The bottom part was blown into a mold then they formed this top, and then they took a rod of glass, stuck it on one end, pulled it around, stuck it on the other end. So there's never a bust off. Then they take a crimping tool, and they crimp with a, like a little design on it. So each basket, the handle's got a little design on it. And I've told there are minor differences in those design, and those designs were put in that crimping tool. So when the baskets came off the end of the line, if there was something wrong with the basket that the handle wasn't perfectly symmetrical or it had a, a problem with it, they could tell by that mark what presser pressed that handle or put that handle on that basket. So the Lariat baskets, the two different sizes, neither one will have the bust off on top of it. This basket is called Daisy and Leaves. It's had a little bit of cutting added to it and then the and then the, the daisy parts have been frosted to highlight it. This is called a fruit basket. Relatively common basket, price $65. I don't like to use the term very often, but this is a very rare basket. This is an old sandwich basket, only made in crystal, it's known of. And what this was, this was a footed iced tea that they pulled the handle down and then they've taken a rod of glass, put a little handle on it, crimped it, and then they sold it. Some people think this is a whimsy basket. It is not a whimsy basket. There's been a price list found in 1941 that actually lists this basket for sale. So it is very, very rare, but it is not a whimsy. Price $6.75. Recessed panel basket, made it in three sizes, seven, eight, nine inch size. This is the very smallest size, very, very common basket, price $35. Last basket on the list is the Octagon basket. The Octagon basket was made in Moongleam, Flamingo, Marigold, and Crystal. The hardest one to find is Marigold, but the next hardest one to find is Crystal. Here's a crystal one here, and it has a nice cutting on it. Cutting, again, adds significant value to the basket. This basket is priced $265. Marked in the center of the bottom. This basket, of course, it's gonna have a bust off on top of it, right here at the top of the handle. So a lot of times you see that handle is not symmetrical going across, it's flat or it's angling, the, the handle is. That's because they took the bust off off, and these, guys that worked in the factory weren't real careful sometimes taking the bust off off. Then we have the same basket in Moon Gleam, no decoration on it, just like it come out of the factory. These baskets do have a ground bottom signed in the center. A plain Moon Gleam, $125. Relatively easy to find. Same basket with an elaborate cutting on it. Putney's around the top. It's got a flower with leaves on it, marked in the center of the bottom. And as you can well guess, it's gonna be a lot more money because it's got a decoration. Priced $850.
the moon gleam basket with any decoration on it at all is very difficult to find. Here's a flamingo basket, no decoration on it. If you look at the top of this handle, you can see it is really pretty flat on top where they've ground that bust off, off of it. Price on it, $135. Same thing as the moon gleam, add a cutting to it. This is a Windsor type corn flower that's on it. Doesn't look like it's one that Heisey's put on it. Probably someone else has put that decoration on there. $145. Not much more because it's it's not that great of a looking cut. Now, I've been telling you about the bust off all the time that we've been going through these baskets, how Heisey, when they made them, that's what the bust off looked like. That is a glob of glass. That is, they pour the bottom portion or pressed it in a mold. They pressed the handle in a mold. And this is where the rod came down and they broke it off. And then they would take this, they would cut that off and then that would be rough in there. So then they would grind that handle to smooth that all out. But almost all these baskets, except for the lariat and the old sandwich, when they were made, they had a bust off on top of them. So when you see those baskets and they're not level on top, that's why. So that includes our little program here on baskets. If you see anything you're interested in, please give us a call. This is just a portion of the baskets we have in our shop for sale. So if you need to get in contact with us about other baskets, just give us a call or send us an email. Thank you very much.